It's me, Ducky. You thought I wouldn't be back, didn't you? But here I am. They locked me up. But I escaped from prison. You see, I was sentenced to two consecutive life terms in prison for the murders of my wife and her lover and was sentenced to a tough prison. However, I know I didn't commit the crimes. While there, I formed a friendship with Morgan Freeman, experienced the brutality of prison life, adapted, and helped the warden, all in 19 years. Maybe one day, I'll tell you all of the times I was mistaken for a dead body. Listen, don't be like me, kids. I've been laying low, so I've had some time to catch up on gaming. However, with Ducky being on the lam, I don't exactly have a lot of money to spend. So today, Ducky is going to check out some free games on Steam. First off, I got to talk about one that caught my eye, The Wear Cleaner. The Wear Cleaner is a stealth comedy game about cleaning messes and fighting your own instincts. Explore an ever-expanding office space and master an arsenal of gadgets to clean the office of messes, accidents, and the carnage of your own ongoing rampage. You try to avoid being seen while carrying out your job as a janitor, but sometimes you just have to kill a witness. Next up is Sword on Convalaria, which has an impressive visual style similar to Octopath Traveler. Sword of Convalaria is a turn-based tactics game developed by XD International. This fantasy tactical RPG aims to revitalize the Japanese turn-based and pixel art genre. You will have to collect and train a roster of mercenaries, customize them, and use your own strategy to save the nation of Iria. The next on the list is Moonring, a the throwback RPG that harkens of the days of Ultima 1 and 2. And let me tell you, this game is a lot better than it has any business being. Moonring is a 2D role-playing video game in which players explore an open world and procedurally generated dungeons in the land of Caldera. The user interface is split between a top-down depiction of the world on the right and a menu on the left that displays a text-based logs of game events and player statistics. Moonring was developed by Fluttermind, the studio of Dean Carter, a veteran developer who had previously co-created the Fable series. He released the game completely for free and had this to say about it. Life is hard. COVID sucked. Everyone's poor and stressed. I don't need the $300 this would make me. I'd rather take the goodwill. Times are hard right now. And that's why Ducky does what Ducky has to do. I don't even remember how I got here. All I remember is drinking some green shit out of a tube and then dancing like a bastard. Next thing I know, I wake up in a hot air balloon above Huntington, West Virginia, after which I landed in the strip club parking lot that was across from the gun store, liquor store, and the other strip club. It's not a nice place, people. Don't be like me, kids. 